everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be tackling, uh, replacing the badges on a Saab, specifically my 2002 Saab 9.3. Uh, so here we have the one on the back. As you can see, the decal is gone. So I've heated this up with a hair dryer and you can try to use dental floss to um, go around and kind of saw at it and get it, um, get this old badge off. But, you know, this car here, I'm just gonna use a putty knife and uh, we can actually insert this and get it up underneath. We can use this to kind of cut the adhesive tape and you just want to be real gentle with this. This stuff's already loose so if it doesn't go this this well for you that's not a you know wouldn't be uncommon but you know just gently kind of pull that off. You want to try to not scratch it up too much behind we don't want to you know cause rust or anything but we can go ahead and kind of pry this out. All right and with that out of there you can see that uh, yeah just comes right apart. So, i put this aside. I've got the new badges here for front and back, and also we will be replacing the S there in Saab. This is uh, broken, so we'll swap that out too. So the next thing you want to do is just kind of um, scrape away this, which I'll shut the camera off for, but scrape that off, and then we'll hit it with some rubbing alcohol just to kind of clean up this debris. And while you're at it, you can take a little bit of polish and kind of um, like clean away this like shadow line here, which will make it look a little nicer once it's all back together. All right, so I have everything cleaned up as best I can, uh, and this has all been hit with rubbing alcohol. So, and by the way, it's worth mentioning that if you're going to be doing this like professionally or on a daily basis or something, there are better ways. But for just a badge here and there every 10 years or so, this is uh, not a bad option. Okay, so you can see the old badge. If you look at the sign, you can see that there is uh, kind of a raised area there, and that is to correlate with the lower area on the panel. So you can see the new one does match. Some of these will be a little different. They all kind of look the same from the outside across all the different model years, but uh, you know they're slightly different for the body that they're fitting. So before you take this tape off, you can actually test it and um, you know see how it lines up. So there we go. I picked these up on eBay. Don't know who the seller was. Um, you know this, this stuff's cheap enough. You can just give it a shot. They're all about the same at this point. All right. So this one actually comes with tape, so we can go ahead and peel that back put that up here and then you have these two little posts for alignment so bear with me here as I try to film with one hand and line this stuff up with the other here but okay if we kind of if we kind of keep this back from the panel there we can wait till both are lined up and then at that point you can just press just press it in and you want to do this when it's not super cold outside or anything so that the adhesive has a good chance of sticking all right so there we go yep and that is nice and tight okay yeah that's a little bit of an upgrade that's uh, much better so okay all right so with that done we'll move to the front so here's the one that I have for the front and uh, if we can come over here and take a look at this this one the badge is already gone so um, with this there's these two little like white alignment posts here. Now this one's kind of come apart, so this one's just kind of come out of the way and we'll just have to eyeball it a little bit there. But uh, this one should be pretty clean. This has all been washed off. So I'll grab some rubbing alcohol and clean that up and then we'll get this one lined up. The only tricky thing with this is that there's no adhesive on it. So I'll show you how to do that too. All right, so with this, we'll take our two-sided tape. This is like a 3M Extreme mounting tape. Um, but what you'll want to do is kind of lay this along the back, press that into, into place, which I can kind of do here. Uh, maybe not so much, but you'll get that in place. We'll do the same at the top and then the bottom. And then we'll cut it to rough size. And then we'll flip it over and just kind of trim the excess nice with a real sharp knife. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll look at it at the end. All right, so I've ran tape around the back. And then before I peeled the... the like the red plastic off, I went around the outside with an X-Acto knife and cut it to size. So uh, now it's ready to go. Now if you had both white pieces, uh, you would just be able to kind of line that up. This one's gone. Usually these posts will get stuck in that white piece and then it ends up um, that you, you know, you lose it. So I'm actually going to shut the camera off and we'll just look at it. But basically you'll just kind of line that up and press it into place. This is my car. I have to live with this. So I'm going to put the camera down and just make sure that I get it focused or just focus and make sure that I get this thing centered. So we'll pick it up in a second. So there you have it, that's all taken care of and all lined up, so good. And we're getting down to the last of this. We have the paintless repair that needs done on this car. 
and we've got the bumpers, and that's pretty much going to be the outside. So, and some yeah, paintless, I mentioned that. So, all right, now coming around here to the back, you can see the, that the S is cracked. So, in this case, this is pretty much ready to come off. Just be a little careful. This is kind of like dipped in chrome, and it will it will cut you. It's very sharp, but you can see this stuff's ready to just come off. So, we'll pitch that. Now, for this next piece, again, I'm just using a putty knife because. Again, this is just what works for me. I can actually get up under that and not really have it touching the paint and just pop these off real nice. So I'm actually going to shut the camera off possibly for this, but basically you just want to kind of remove that. And again, we'll clean that down and then we'll get this one cut, the new S, uh, the new tape for that cut, and we'll get that on next. So I've scraped everything off the paint and cleaned that with rubbing alcohol, and I've done the same to the new letter. So what we'll do and this is going to work better with uh, smaller letters and wide tape. But basically what you'll want is to kind of sit the letter. Eh, this is tricky to line up and film at the same time. But basically what you'll want to do is kind of sit the letter down on top of the tape. Okay, and give that a little press. Alright. And then, this will, again, this isn't necessarily the proper way. It's just how I do it. But then with that done, you can cut this to rough size. Sit this on like a workbench or something you can cut against. And just trace that with real nice with an X-Acto knife. And um, then once you peel the red off, it's just a matter of lining it up. Which on an old car with this shadow line is real simple. And then we'll get that back in place and we'll have all this fixed. Alright, and again, I have new tape on and everything is all cut out. So we'll just take and kind of get this lined up right up here. Oops, didn't quite get it there. Okay, go ahead and get that. It's kind of loosely stuck in place. That looks good. I can live with it right there. So I'll just kind of work that into place. All right. And we are good. So, yeah, all back together and looking good. So, yeah, that's a pretty simple repair. So, for the both badges and the lettering and everything, um, you know, I think for the badges, so the, the S there came from the junkyard, but... Um, Otherwise, the badges were about 15 bucks a piece and then 15 for the tape, so not too bad for all this altogether. Alright, thanks for watching.